What happens when your whole life changes in an instant? One moment you're a strong, healthy United States Air Force tech sergeant, and the next minute you wake up and you can't move your arms or legs. Mike almost drove his truck that June day in 2013. He had to go back to the base for one last thing before deploying. Instead, he decided to ride his bike one more time before leaving. He was almost to the base gate when a car pulled out in front of him. That's the last thing he remembers. June 27, 2013, Mike's life changed forever. Months of therapy followed, slowly regaining the use of his hands and arms. So, so after the accident, uh, sure you went through depression. So tell me, how did you get through that? Uh, like I said, I had my depression. Now. Why me? You know why? Why I'm like this and being an active guy my whole life. You know, it was my mom, my parents. You know, my kids, my wife. You know, that got me through. I know I, I had to be better for my kids to show them. You know, just because you're down, that don't mean you're out. You know. Can just make the best of the situation you got, and I, I got something to live for. Like I said, my family. Okay. In 2014, Mike was finished with therapy, and his wife received orders to Little Rock Air Force Base, a humanitarian move so they would be closer to family during Mike's transition. First day you get to weight room uh, here at Little Rock. Uh, first day we met. Right? Uh, what did you think at first day? Man. I didn't never think I was gonna get to where I am now. You know, it was rough. Like I said, I was barely lifting the on the, the equipment, the the chain. I don't think I had the little five pound bar at the time. I mean, the little weight plate at the time. I mean, it was it was rough. You know, being from me, I always lift weights. You know, I played football growing up and everything. And military, like I said, I lift weights, but. Man, it was just, it was hard. And like I said, Mr. Jeff, he put me through, he put me through a workout. That was, but look where I am now. I can, I done got a, a long way. But that first day, it was rough. Now, like I said, we're, what have we been doing this? Three years? Probably about. Or four years? Four, five four years. Four years, five years? All right. All right so, so, Almost five years. So where are you at now as far as, what do you? What can you do now that maybe you couldn't do back then? He said that then, shoot, I couldn't even lift three pound dumbbell. Uh, I mean, struggling. But now, like I said, all the workout exercise he got me doing, um, and he got me doing a little cool workout. You know, the body twist and everything. I couldn't do that. Uh, I mean, look, the bench press, bicep, tricep. You know, it's just a whole bunch of shoulder workout things that I I couldn't do at first, but now I can do. Like I said, I I went from curling probably like I said two pounds to now I can curl with like 35 with this arm and 20 with this one. You know, it's 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 coming. I'm getting getting back to where I mean not back to where I was, but I'm, I'm a lot better off, a lot better off, stronger. Mike is one of the most positive people you'll ever meet. And I asked him, where does all that positivity come from? Where do you get your positive attitude? Where do you get it? Uh, I guess it started from my parents, you know. My mom, she always had a great attitude, and like, she always told me, like, you know, ain't no use of being all mad and disgruntled about no situation you're in. Just, you know, do what you got to do and just use what you got, you know, and make the best of it, you know. And like I said, I've been in church my whole life. I've got God in my life, so I mean, no use. Like, I mean, I guess that's, I guess that's where it is.